What is up you dudes and their dads and welcome back to Frambo. Thank you so much for watching and um, Well, you're gonna watch not what you're watching. No, you're watching right now. It counts doesn't matter Okay, today we're gonna be continuing with Frambo series. Uh, I don't really remember what happened uh, Oh, yeah, there was a on the throne, but what do we have to do? Hey, don't I have to talk to you? Hello. Yeah, I do Here we are. <laughs> oh, I use that voice too much. It's not good if I have a call. Cool. <coughs> Damn. Uh, yes, but where's the door? Alright, I have to make it visible. But are you sure you want to go back? I'm sure, sir. Alright, here we go. Human must live. Open secret door into her reality. Let's human return home. Away with your shun. Oh wow, we're going home, Kippity. It actually works. Ho ho ho! Say the king. Good day to you. I bought the stones. I brought, not bought. So this lovely creature can go home. Oh, now you think I'm a lo lovely creature? Hmm? Thank you, Sam. Very nervous. I will, but it will be strange to be far away from you all. Then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay. Very magical place. But I couldn't leave, right? Because I attracted the shadows or whatever. I made the portal open. <coughs> Wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from one of the Falokas. And she's not ready. Oh, I see. The Flocus wore the shadows, one day. What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, wizard, place the stones. We have no time to lose. But ready for what? You know what the Flocus told you about facing the truth? Oh yeah, I think I remember. Well, should I? Yes, go ahead, wizard, sir. Magic stones! Create the luck that only the human can break. Oh, that looks fancy. Well, now it's time for Fran to be the key. You are the one, the only one who can open this now. Well, right. Oh, no pressure. Let's see. How do I open it? Huh? How does that work? Huh? What? I don't get it. They all go back to their original position. If I move one. Yeah. Oh, like this. Ah, oh, that wasn't too hard. Easy. Easy. Man, some puzzles are really hard in this game, and then some are just. <laughs> whatever. Smell victory again. I can't smell anything. When you're boasting that you can smell things in the nose and stuff. Still, two weeks. I've had a cold for two weeks. And I've been sniffing the whole winter already. It's like horrible. You did a friend, you can go home now. I'm so excited! So excited! Just can't hide it! And I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Oh, I wish I could leave you something so you can remember me. We won't forget you. You are a very special creature. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> We won't forget you. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Belantra's gave me this to you. Oh, what's this? Oh, thank you. Tell Belantra's that I wish I could help him with his wounds. He gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital. But anyway, I'll tell him. Don't worry. Belantra's is better now. Oh, before you go, you must know. What happened to him anyway? Before you return to your reality, you'll go through secret woods. The woods are a kind of invisible passage between our realities. You may encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you, but you know, just run. It's slow. You're telling me this now. Ah, this sounds pretty scary. I think I'll stay here. Thank you. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Yeah, I hope so. Well, Mr. Midnight, say goodbye. Let's just go night. Goodbye, gentlemen. I had a great time. I, I like you very much. Oh, friend. Come fall in love with the tree. Goodbye. Let us depart. So, is that the end of the chapter? It sounds like my uh, puzzle music. Oh, I have the platform. Quite slow. Oh, now I died. <laughs> so, this is a mini game. I can skip it, but no, it's cute. Monsters chasing us. Mr. Midnight can jump a lot further. Bit unfair, you look like, oh, what's he doing? And I have to jump a lot later. 
Oh, no, not again. He doesn't look very nice. Fred is kicking some ass, though. She just does that shit. She takes it on straight. She doesn't have a skip button. I do. I might just skip it. I don't know. Some horrible, horrible jumping. Oh, fuck, damn it. Fuck. So who ran? Who ran? No, this the order is the order is the other way around. Well, whatever. Doesn't look nice. No, there's a door randomly, but it's close. Why would you want to go through a closed door? Part one, my imaginary friend. We're talking about Mr. Midnight. This looks like my duo thing. Good goodness, the door opened. Wow, intense thing. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Midnight. Midnight, let's find out where we are. Close it all, or it goes away on its own. Oh, Fran, I hope you can find home soon. I'm starving. Miss Midnight, look, I think we are at the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into a sewer stab? Yes, I remember. Great, let's keep going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. Uh, someone's going to pull the air, uh, the thread. Where are they going? <laughs> home, apparently. Go stand on the tread and then take it. God damn, she's not very smart, now is he? Did you see that? Bill's move? Yes, I think that was very strange. Okay, <laughs> he saw it. That's <laughs> saying something. Oh, I got caught. Oh no, I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad, friend, bad. What do I do, kitty? We're trapped forever. You have a knife. Oh no. You should just stand on the rope. Well, you can't put it anymore. Oh, hello. Oh, I saw you before. Fran, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. You were about an hour early. And as I see it, you're not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Edward, your faithful friend. Edward, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I hope you get to miss the midnight bed. You see? I remember him. Hmm, I think I quite managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. <coughs> oh my god, talking is pretty hard because I have like itch. Uh, it's itches so bad. Give me any of your homemade remedies I can use to ease my throat. I have to sing tonight and singing is horrible right now. Uh, I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made my the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see? But that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blame me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. <laughs> but let's stop talking about sisters, shall we? How, uh, how does that... You pissed them off, right? Okay, whatever. Don't you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat. I almost came by... I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You like, you look quite familiar, so I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you are able to imagine me because I already existed. No, it doesn't work that way. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Why should I eat, sir? I can't trust you. I won't hurt you. I'm made out of darkness. I'm your friend. I'm not mega of turn. Alright, you seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. He just trapped me with the pills inside a net. Why would we trust him? That's fine, come on now, I have something to show you. Uh, Kitty, are you seeing this? My dear, should we trust Edward? No, no, my dear, let's pretend we do. Okay. So we th won't think we're scared of him any, alright? Okay, Kitty, I can do that. So the kitty sees him, but maybe the kitty talking is part of my imagination as well. So yeah, I mean, how intelligent is this cat? Look at him. Behold, the Edward flying machine. What do you think? Love it. There's many buttons to push. That's always good. Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. 
but it's not 2.35 yet. Here we go, wait for an hour. The sounds are great, but what about 2.35? So I don't understand. It's time, it's when time becomes slower and gives us a chance to enter ultra reality. Inside the ultra reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now we're standing on the endless limit of the second reality, but you are part of the third reality. Do you understand? No. Sounds insane. <laughs> but sir, should I just wait till you're done fixing the machine? What? Of course not. You can help by getting water and fire berries, alright? Alright. It's better to do something nothing, I suppose. Uh, I suppose, yeah. Great. Here's my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. It is quite amazing bucket, I must say. And fire berries. You realize which fairy which berries you need to pick up because of the fire. How can I pick up berries with my bare hands if they're on fire? Alright, but sir, can I just ask, why do you need the berries in the water? Well, they're incredibly good fuel and last many, many hours, and the water is to get rid of the dirt. The camelas. What's that again? I don't remember. Friend seems to remember. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know, but we do know that they don't like what he is. And oh, darling, I almost forgot your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. Invisible to my eyes. Hmm, I see. Thank you. Why? Yes, I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Why would he just bait me with a trap and not just be like, Hello, friend, I'm your imaginary friend. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I need to get your attention somehow. You're a walking skeleton. I think, uh... You will get my attention. <laughs> I defeated the trap in like one second. It's nothing. I'll go get the firebirds in the water. I'll be right back. Great. I'll be preparing the machine. That looks like berries. That's right. Oh yes, I did not miss this. So much hair and so shiny. You I look completely deformed. I wonder if this friend is really me, but from some other place. Is that everywhere? Oh yeah, they look very much on fire. Oh, it's not really focusing. Oh, hell! Who took off the hello? Uh-huh. Get out, get out. You're trespassing on my territory. Excuse me, I thought you were dead. How can you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. Excuse me, but you seem to be all bloody and rotten. Me? Bloody rotten. I think you're misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose, but I'm not Moose. I'm a deadly worm. A deadly worm? Excuse me? Excuse me? No, not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. I don't go killing around creatures. Just give back to the soil what creatures took from it and don't need anymore. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh, <laughs> <coughs> can't you see me? It's like a death center bee. Hello, so tiny. Can I ask you, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fireberries. I see, I think it's possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fireberries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yeah, that's the thing. Yes, but I see the fire, but I have to take him somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. This seems a bit random. She's going for it, though. Do I have something? Can I put them in the bucket? Would work if I had water inside the bucket. Oh, let's get some water then. Okay, okay, we can do that. What's uh, this with the face? Oh, hello. Hello, are you those shiny insects that get stuck on tea because trees because of their curiosity? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You're not one of us. I met just some of your kind before. I helped them to get free. That's very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to ex unexpected situations. Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest ever. That sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. That's pretty ambitious. Ambitious. This is a floating island. Where will I get any water? <laughs> Did you find the fireberries? Need them to journey back home. Yes. Where's the water though? Chemical bird, delicious berries. There's no water, is there? Home, yes. 
Yes, it is quite. There's no water. Let's examine this one. Corner wall. Palantris can't, can't open it. Yeah. Can I do something with the code? I don't know, man. We still have this one. Uh, there's a tree. I wonder how long it take for these trees to go. Okay. I have to get the fireworks and the bucket of water. Yes, I get that. But there's no fucking water, is there? I don't think these are on fire. Just take them, take the pill, and then boom. Fire. No, this doesn't do much. I wonder what this lever does up and down. Nothing happened. No, I didn't. I didn't want to click you. I want to click like a button. What can I click? A lamp. I think I hit something. More buttons. Can I ask her if she's gonna give me water? I need help, please! <laughs> Would you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? It sounds insane. It's not insane, I don't need for under the cliff. I can't reach it. Use your long, beautiful hair as a rope. Alright, I'll help you. Tie the bucket real tight. Very really nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. That is quite nice. The bucket is now full of water. Thank you, you shiny insects. See, it's nice to help someone. Home is somewhere we all wish to belong, but does home belong somewhere? <coughs> uh, what? I'm oh, sorry, I really don't understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. Just wanted to say that. You were in your own home. How come yourself inside you will find many doors to open? That sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye. Yeah, thank you. Okay, let's get on the moose. Sneeze. <coughs> there you go. Climb again. Visit me when I die. <laughs> it's a bit much to ask. Okay, so I can use the bucket now. It's not dangerous at all. Okay. We got it. That's nice. <laughs> uh, Firebird is not on fire anymore. I do will do fine. There's a book of water. You mean the Lucifers? They are nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Burn me? Well, I haven't been in the fifth one. Don't recommend it. What's the reasonable? What's reasonable there may be the worst you'll ever experience. I'm <laughs> going to thank you for the water. I'm going to die. It's 2.43, the journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. No, it's not. It's still like 45 minutes early, I'll be honest. Let's go in. Let's fly onwards. That is a stream star machine. It's a bit different from the TARDIS. You're going to have to buy because you power it up. It's too... 36. Well, time goes really fast. We have the great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited? I would be more excited if I understood more. You'll soon understand. Elders are not easy to recognize. Sounds strange to me, sir. Time goes as it has to in order for you to be alive. He's gonna be biking. If all happened now, you'll probably explode. Why are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly, you know what? I'd rather say through time, you have to explore and experience to understand me. True. This means the answers will come to you when you find them, not when the others tell you how or where to find them. Oh, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curiousness. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But now, friend, we have to get things done. Talking will take you home. What things, sir? The machine needs some maintenance, and I think you would do incredible work. He's just putting me to work. You should have done more. You should have prepared a bit more. Here are the fairy berries and the water you gathered before. 
Thank you. You'll need to get to the water pump working again and the fuel mix. To find all information you need when you enter the room on the left. But feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. Uh, I've never done anything like this before. Makes it more exciting. That's true. Have fun, darling. Uh, darling, I'll have to go now. Maybe I should push the button to open the door. What's with that one? Let's see, you spinning top. Oh, this is all going to be very confusing. Why can't he just tell me straight? So, the berries. Micronutrients for the berry fire berries will supercharge the engine and the shore is lost forever. Oh, this looks very confusing. No, I'm not I'm not awake enough for this. I don't know what this is. Seems to be damaged. Does does not press random things. Can I take the pool? Yeah, no, never mind. Look at this mess. It was doesn't know about hygiene. Yeah, probably not. Don't understand what that says. So it has to be like this. I have to light that one. Okay. So like this. Do I have any matches? Can't turn on the fire. There's no gas coming out. Really? Like this? No, still not. <laughs> Do I have to put them in there? No, let me let me look at it again. <gasps> yeah, it's supposed to be like this. I have to put your mixture in there. Now I have to pull the handle. Well, like this? No? No, still not. I don't get it. Yeah, it's a little bit like this, like this. I think I have to put the mixture in. And get a new cable. Let's look at the other room first. Push the button. What's that fucking cat again? This is pretty big. A bit overwhelming. Uh, this looks like a mathematical problem. See that clever? Many shoes. It's up here. Leads to a door, but it's close. Maybe Izzard can open it later. He really does love black cats. He's my imaginary. He's imaginary, right? So it's going to be a lot like my mind. Oh, wait. Now let's look if there's something I can use here. It's the twins. Thank you. Oh, you have to kill Edward. Why don't you talk to me? Was it open? No, it's not. Okay, so it might be better that they're gone. Why were the twins there? Can't Edward tell me anything about it? What does the red yellow button do? Oh, it turns off the light. Bit more creepy. Uh, yeah. Never mind. Can <laughs> I talk to you? Okay, tell me. Uh, get the board pump working and fuel mix. Blah blah blah. Yeah, get that. Okay, we're gonna have to look. Oh, there. Here were the piggies. We need new wires, right? Blue hose ready to use. The pink hose. Oh, we still have to figure this one out. Okay, let's look if there's anything I can use. That's a lot of ice. I don't think there's anything new. Nope. So, chemical mixture. This doesn't tell me shit. Okay. So, ACM in a... Huh? Uh, 
Elf hier mit Missing. Ha. I'm gonna have big, too big of a headache <laughs> to think about this. So take those off and put new cable on there. Won't even try that. Why not? Gonna, it's broken, isn't it? I don't have duct tape. Okay, you know what, guys? I'm going to think about this really hard to cut out the boring parts. And uh, I'll solve it next time when I feel a bit more awake. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Uh,